Me my like my food local. Know that my hands can roll. My like my food to Hi, my name is Hans Peter Meyer, and today I'm talking to Jennifer Millard here in Black Creek. And can you give me the name of your farm, please? It's Rankeeler Farm. And what's the story behind Rankeeler Farm? The name. That's my grandparents' home in Scotland, or was. So okay. we brought it over here. Right. So how many generations are you here in, in on Vancouver Island? Um, there's just, I'm the second generation here. Just mm -hmm. my parents and my siblings and myself. But you didn't grow up on a farm, and farming is relatively recent in your family history, right? Can you tell me, how, how long have you been here in, on Rankeeler Farm? We've been here about 12 years. We've been farming for 10. Mm -hmm. And we just thought it would be a good way to raise our kids and me to be at home. And we decided to do meat birds. Friends sort of got us into it. And How did they sort of get you into raising meat birds? Um, they've been doing it for years and decided they were slowly going to retire. So they suggested it would be a good thing for us to do on our farm. So mm -hmm. we gave it a try. And like doing it and it's a way the kids can get involved as well it's not too labor intensive mm -hmm. and the meat's delicious so yeah tell me about the meat so you think that your meat is because it's not barn raised it's more delicious so tell me about that um i find the meat is a better quality meat because the birds are free range they almost develop like a, they develop muscle mm -hmm. which makes the meat firmer not so fatty mm -hmm. and our customers really like it we've tried barn raising and we did notice the difference mm -hmm. and we pr prefer it this way so you've told me that you actually have customers who want to come to the farm do they want to like shake the chicken's hand or something like that or like, like why do they want to come to the farm they like to see how they are raised it's becoming more important to people to know how their their meat is raised that they're they're running around on the ground. They're eating bugs, pecking at the grass. Mm -hmm. They're a short life, but a good life. Mm -hmm. And that's important to people. And what's your season here, and how many birds do you raise? We go basically from June to the end of October. We do about 2,000 birds in a year. We do 50 turkeys, and then we have about 100 layers year-round. So you've got eggs every week at the market? We do. Yes, they go really quickly. You got to be at the market by ten o'clock, or oh, they're yeah. gone. <laughs> okay, well that's uh, that's bad news for. I'm serving people at the market, and lots of people want to come later. So, w what's the like? Do you guys sell out every week? We do. We sell at the farm as well. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on what we sell here as to what we take to the the market. But there's other egg producers there, and we're all the same. If you're not there by ten o'clock, you're it's very hard to find eggs left. Okay, so get to, if you want to go, if you want to buy, buy eggs at the market, get there before ten o'clock. One of the things that I'm really interested in is how the farmers market supports, um, you know, the 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 local food economy and culture here. Uh, is the market important to what you're doing here? Yes, it is. Um, a lot of our customers are from the market. Um, we do sell from the farm as well, but we do rely a lot on the market. Mm -hmm because they're repeat customers every weekend. Um, we do indoor market as well. Um, different customer base, but still people are looking for fresh eggs and meat all the time. And I don't think we would do that well if we just sold from the farm because mm -hmm. we are out of the way a little bit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we do rely on the market a lot. Now, ourselves. you've been there at the market for 10 years. So have you noticed any changes? Um, I'm finding more younger generation are shopping at the market now and they're very conscientious about how their their meat is raised. Mm -hmm. um, antibiotics, byproducts, they just want a good quality food and they, they seem to be willing to pay the extra. Mm -hmm. um, I think that's that's why our market is so busy is because they like local food and they like quality food. Right. So, uh, what's the future here? Like, are you going to are you able to expand to more birds? Are you going to be doing new things? Uh, what what might what might we see in the next year from Rankeeler Farm? 
Uh, we are limited on the number of birds we can do um, because we're a small farm. Once you get into quota, it's a totally different way of raising your, your birds, mm -hmm. which we don't like. Um, we are hoping to get greenhouses up and venture into produce as well mm -hmm. so that it becomes a little more of a destination farm so you can get your eggs, your meat, your produce and who knows what else. We've got two young teenagers that are are keen on doing things at the on the farm so who knows what we might end up with. Okay well I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what that'll be and, and thank you very much for taking the time on this uh, sunny September afternoon. Um, do you have any, uh, you will have turkeys for sale for Thanksgiving is that right? We will have turkeys at the market the weekend before Thanksgiving yes. Mm -hmm. Okay so get there before 10 o'clock folks if you want eggs what time, like your turkey's going to sell out or what's happening with the turkeys? Um, depends on how many, I've I've got quite a, a lot of pre-orders, so it depends on how many turkeys we end up with at the market as to, yeah, how quickly they can go. Okay, so um, thank you very much, Jennifer, and um, thank you for watching. I want to know the folks who run my local store. Don't want no E. coli, I just want what's right there.